So welcome again. Uh, we're going to do another little winter steelhead nymph. And it's on a barbless size 10 jig hook. And it is also going to have a little hot spot. You know, when we're fishing for winter, winter or summer steelhead, well, summer steelhead, you know, the longer the summers stay in the river, the more likely, and, and so I'm filling around here, I'm, I'm trying to get this hot spot on. I want to keep it short, and I don't want my thread to show, which it would be perfectly fine if it did, but, so I'm just, I'm going to ramble a little bit here. So you can, you can see how I'm tying the fly. The body is going to be a large Vivas pearl tinsel. And I'm going to cut a triangle on the end of that, uh, on the end of that tinsel. No, come on, it's not tinsel. It's uh, mylar pearl, it's large. And the idea here, I, w I want this um, this rear, and by the way, I just put the tiniest, you're gonna laugh at me. People have been watching me tie flies for years, you're gonna laugh at me, because I, I never used to like super glue. And now I'm using it all the time. You know, so I go through phases like that. I suppose that's part of the fun of the game. This uh, rear body to be nice and slender. So uh, a summer steelhead might be feeding. The longer the summer steelhead are in fresh water in the river, the more likely it is that they're going to take up feeding. And uh, that's just the way it is. So sometimes a summer steelhead might have their belly full of bugs, full of things that they're eating. Um, sometimes not. The winter fish, it's pretty unusual for a winter fish to have anything, it's a stomach. But they will, they'll eat stuff. But, you know, whether we're really trying to imitate an actual bug or whether we're just trying to put something out there that looks like food or that the fish gets curious about I think it's a bit of a toss-up I really do so this is UV shrimp pink ice stub and I, I tied in a little piece of that large uh, vivas Mylar there for a kind of a flashback there. Um, anyway, this is going to be a kind of a pretty little bright, shiny thing that's going to come not very big, not too big, not too small. It's going to come drifting by our quarry, our steelhead, and whether they think it's a bug to eat or a little scrap of egg to eat, or if they're just curious about what on earth it is, they're going to pick this up and we're going to feel that little quiver and we're going to be set. Now what happened to my thread there? Let's clean that up. Okay, I'm going to pick that thorax out just a little bit with my handy little dubbing picker. Not too much, just a little bit. That is the perfect amount. Okay, I hope you have fun with this. Um, there's, any, there's an endless variety of uh, little nymphs with bright hot spots and and pretty little beads and slim rear taper, you know, it, it's, it's a 
There are all kinds of combinations. Just throw some together and go out and have some fun when you're fishing. Thank you very much.